One of the most watched videos on this channel was about material utilities, a free tool we made as a part of the Unreal Bucket plugin. It lets you quickly assign materials to multiple meshes in the content browser with just one click. And honestly, I'm not surprised it got so much attention, because this problem just keeps coming back. Unreal still doesn't give you an easy way to change materials on a bunch of assets at once. We even got an email from a guy who used that tool to assign a material to 20,000 meshes. 20,000! Well, that must have felt so good when it actually worked. Anyway, the reason I'm recording this video is because we decided to make it even simpler. So now, instead of being part of the Unreal Bucket plugin, Material Utilities is now available as a separate tool on Fab. And yep, it's still free. And what's more, we've updated it so it works with skeletal meshes too, a feature you requested several times. So for those who never used it before, let me show you why you might need this tool and how it works. All right, picture this. You've just imported new models from 3D Studio Max, Revit or Blender, doesn't matter, and everything's gray. Every single mesh has this Unreal's default material. Now, you can open up each mesh, assign materials one by one by drag and dropping it here and, you know, slowly lose your will to live, or you can just fix the whole thing in literally one click. So that's where Material Utilities comes in. All right, so let me show you. Here I've got a bunch of meshes that all have that default or world grid material on them or actually have no material at all. Now, all I have to do is select them in the content browser pick the material I want, hit assign, and we're done. Instantly, everything updates. No more opening editors, no drag and dropping a hundred or thousands for that matter. And yeah, well, this could be at the end of this video, but let me explain a bit more about how it actually works so you'll better know what's going on. The tool looks at material IDs or slot names on your mesh to find matching materials to assign. If you open up any static mesh, you will see a list of materials here. Depending on your model, you might have just one or several materials if that's a more complex object. This setup usually comes from your DCC tool like Blender, Max, whatever, where you decide which polygons use which materials. Just keep in mind that the more materials you've got, the more draw calls you'll be end up with. So it's a good practice to keep that number as low as possible. Now, those material IDs or elements correspond directly to the slots that material utility uses. So if your object has three materials, you can assign up to three different ones in the tool. Simple as that. A more real life example, well, let's say you're working on a big set of objects that all share the same material instance, but for some reason it didn't get assigned during import or you just change your mind and want to swap it later. That's exactly where this tool shines. Now, there are two assignment modes in the tool, by ID and by slot name. We've already covered the first one. It just uses the material index number to decide which material goes where. But that sometimes can be unreliable, especially if your meshes don't all have the same number of materials. Like one object might have two material slots, other may have like three, maybe it's because it's bigger or more detailed, doesn't matter, and suddenly don't indexes don't match. So the wrong material ends up in the wrong place. That's where the slot names mode comes in. Instead of using index number, it looks at the slot names and assign materials based on those. And it's super handy when you're working with a bunch of meshes imported from the same, you know, Blender file or whatever, because their slot names are usually consistent. And now, as long as the name match across all objects, everything lines up perfectly. All right, let's talk about the big update, skeletal mesh support. So in the previous version, material utilities only work with static meshes, which was great unless your project had characters, animated props, or anything with bones actually, then you were out of luck. Now it works with skeletal meshes too, and it's just as simple. You select your skeletal mesh asset in the content browser, you pick the material and assign, boom, done. It works exactly the same way as with static meshes. So you can use both ID or slot names mode depending on how your materials are set up. 
So this is especially useful if you're importing characters or assets from tools like Mixama or MetaHuman that come with multiple materials and sometimes messy slot orders. Now you can clean all that up with just one click. Oh yeah, I almost forgot one of my favorite little feature, the load all materials button. This thing is a lifesaver when you are using this a lot. Instead of manually creating a list of materials by hitting this plus icon, you click this button instead. So now all the materials already assigned to your selected mess are loaded into the tool automatically. From there, you can now either uh, use the drop down menu to pick something else or just drag and drop any materials into a slot. Honestly, I love features like this. All right, guys, that's it. That's material utilities in action. And like I said, this tool is completely free, but if you want to support us, you can grab the professional license just for $5. It will go straight to more coffee or my cat's food, literally. Or actually, if you're a big studio that made 100K in a year, then you have to do it anyway. Oh, and I've recently shared a lot of free assets from our team and Unreal Bucket partners. So go ahead and check them out too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.